This video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly subscription box for guys who give a damn. Each box is packed with high quality gear and useful advice to help step up your life. The contents of each box ranges from tools and drinks to gear for style and travel, like the Scout Box, which comes with a really cool copper plated flask, a minimalist leather wallet, a really neat brass Wilson keyring from Craighill, and a black hank. When you sign up, you'll take a quiz that helps teach bespoke your interests, and at the beginning of each month, you'll get to see what's in your box before it ships. If you don't like it, you can choose from the other boxes available, skip that month altogether, or return or exchange it hassle-free. And you can even add on other items from their store to ship with your box. For members, each box will cost $45 with free shipping, $55 for non-members, and has a total value of at least $70, often much more. If you want to see what it's all about, join the club using the link in the description and use coupon code BEST20 to get 20% off your first box. Ooh, that sound is nice. This is my brand new watch. I got this yesterday, actually. This is the Marathon TSAR, and this is my new tool watch. And I've been looking at these for a long time, and I finally picked one up on Reddit this week, and uh, boy, am I happy I did. This thing is sweet. Well, welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best same EDC, and it's time for another episode of not the EDC Weekly. You thought I was going to say the EDC Weekly, but you are wrong. You're wrong. I'm not doing an EDC Weekly today because the EDC Weekly, don't don't worry, it's not going anywhere. The show is still here. I'm just renaming it. And I, I felt like Best Damn EDC fit the name of the show better than the channel. And the EDC Weekly was no longer accurate. It hasn't been accurate for like a year now. I've not done the show weekly in over a year, probably. Somewhere close to that. With that said, I might as well just spoil the whole damn thing. Don't freak out. The sky's not falling. The world is not in. Well, I don't know if the world's ending, but the channel's not ending yet. If the world ends, we might have something else to talk about. But for now, the channel's not ending. The world's not ending. Uh, I'm just renaming everything. I'm rebranding the whole shebang. So the EDC Weekly goes away. Best Damn EDC becomes the EDC Weekly. And the channel, we're renaming the channel to Taylor Martin. It's just going to be my name. It makes a whole lot of sense. I've been thinking about it for probably about a year and a half, almost since I started the channel. Long story short, the content's not really going to change a whole lot. What you're going to see on this channel is mostly the same stuff. EDC gear, this show right here, more community shows, more live streams, because I'm starting to get into the flow of things finally after like six months of just having so many troubles of different things and different orders of magnitude in different areas of my life. Everything is finally, as, as the world is <laughs> going up in flames, everything for me is kind of just falling into place. It feels good. I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate in that regard, but, you know, it feels like really bad timing. Regardless, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about the future and the content, for the most part, is going to stay the same. With that said, I do have a few community announcements. Um, first up, this knife that I've been teasing for so long, the Dapper from Vox and Blade HQ is going on sale today. Today, I will link it down below. This thing is really, really nice. It's a very good small knife, but they are live on Blade HQ exclusively on Blade HQ. It is a Blade HQ branded knife. They're live today. And if you didn't see my last video, I talked about a lot of stuff revolving around this COVID-19 situation. Go watch it if you haven't, because I put a lot of interesting information in there, what you can do with your EDC and how to make your own face mask. In that video, I also mentioned a, a list of all the EDC related companies that are pitching in. I have, I'm updating that list. If you have a company that you know of, and you want to add it, there is also a Google form. All that's going to be linked down below. Just to enter that Google form, tell me about that other company. I'll add it to the list. That spreadsheet is going to get very big, I hope. I want to see a lot of companies on there. If you know of anybody who's not on that list and they're helping out, let me know. This episode is me going through the Discord. So this is different. I've not planned this video out. This is the first time I'm seeing any of this stuff. So with that said, let's do the damn thing. So if you haven't already, I highly recommend you join the Discord because I'm in there a lot. That's where I talk about a lot of the things like many of the people in the Discord know about these changes coming to the channel already because I talk about them in there. But here in the Discord, I asked people like a month ago to submit their photos to the EDC Photos channel, which is kind of like people use it kind of like they would use Instagram or something else. They just share their photo there. And then there's an EDC Photos discussion channel and that's where people discuss it. So that's how that works. I asked people, a long time ago to submit their photos for this. I'm sorry if you did and I've missed this because, well, frankly, uh, I got busy and, and the apocalypse is upon us and I dropped the ball. So I'm going to find April 1st because there are a lot of submissions. This is just 
March 31st. Not March. This is just March 31st if I'm scrolling through here. So each day there are dozens and dozens of photos added to this channel and uh, I can't possibly go back to when I asked people to submit. Uh, so we're going to start with April 1st. That's a cool photo right there. This is a, a spider coat. I can't tell. That looks like probably a pair of three. I can't really tell if that's a pair of three. It looks like it because it looks like it's a compression lock. But that's just a cool photo with the sunlight coming through the spidey hole. That one is from Mad Hatter. It says nothing like looking through a spider hole. True that. Fun fact, I've still never tried a pair of three. Never. What is that? I don't know what they're calling those. I cannot remember. So he's got a Rovi Von Aurora A1, a Fisher Space pin bullet in brass with a black clip. And it looks like a mini champ. Yeah, that's a Victorinox Swiss Army mini champ. Best Swiss Army knife ever made. Uh, I, know, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. So it's a brass lancer. And that's what I was looking for. It is the Surge Brass Lancer. This is a very cool setup. Uh, themed really well with the brass and the black. It's a really good contrast. The next one is from Turler Merton's Waste Bin. I changed that guy's nickname because he, he joined the Discord and immediately changed his nickname to Taylor Martin's dad. He said, carry for now, simple, but I do want to upgrade and eventually theme my carry. I have a Rovivon A1 coming in the mail and I can't wait. So he has a white and black rat two it looks like i don't know what that pen is it has a field notes notebook with a leather cover which looks like it was diy'd and a timex expedition scout it's a, it's a it's a nice little carry i like it in the future when i do this and when i originally asked people to do this i said add a little description like you would for the show and list what's in the photo obviously people have slipped and stopped doing that because I didn't make this video when I said I would. Week two, this one comes from Red. He's been upgrading a lot recently. So this is an old photo because he has a new Sabenza now. Um, I don't know what that pin is. That's a very sleek looking pin. Nice little plaid handkerchief. He has a Google Pixel, it looks like maybe, and an Xbox controller. That's a quarantine carry if I've seen one. Nice and moody photo. Here we go. Uh, this one comes from Jman STK. And in this photo, we've got a citizen chronograph, which is nice. It's got a little racing strap on it. He has some AirPod Pros with a leather case. Looks like a brass or bronze tactile turn pin. He has what looks like a clipster from Tale of Knives. This is a really dark photo with some key bar magnets. And my guess is a Martak or a Mech Army keychain flashlight. Uh, Trabex notebook summit wallet a titanium key bar with a timascus clip maybe maybe it's a fake timascus clip and then this knife i've seen this knife i should know what this knife is but i don't know what this knife is um kite fin i think that is the wee kite fin i could be wrong I'm not sure. And of course, hand sanitizer in the middle. So here's one from Patina EDC, who you should follow on Instagram if you don't. He's got a Machine Era Company Field Pin Compact, a Hemdur XM18 3-inch Vintage, and a Prometheus Lights Beta QR V2 in brass. These things just go so well together. Look at this. I sold my 3-inch Vintage XM18 and then immediately turned around and bought another. Uh, I didn't think the three inch was a good size for me. I thought it was too small and then immediately regretted selling my vintage. Really cool photo. I love that knife. The vintage XM18s are so, so nice. Uh, of course, brass, all the things. All right, here's one that looks like it's had some influence by me and, and maybe one other YouTuber who I know. Here we have the Citizen Promaster Diver, which is a watch that I bought recently because it was on a really good sale. Uh, looks like a Mighty Hank underneath the Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 1.5. That's a 1.5. And then a Dasso Fenimer Top Sider gun deck, a wedding band, and then this Swiss Army knife here looks like a compact, which Zach. Zach is the perpetrator there. He's the one that talks everybody into the compact. I bought one. I have a compact now, and uh, it's all right, but it's no, it's no mini champ. Townz79 says, my considered an essential service EDC. Whatever you may be doing to be an essential worker, thank you. In this photo, he has a Leatherman Surge, a whole bunch of pins and pin tools, a little telescoping magnet, a microstream, looks like a microstream stylus, a little pocket screwdriver, a Manix 2, Leatherman Surge. He's got a couple pry tools here, a Nitize doohickey, as well as a Gerber shard, an Olight I1R EOS, and then a Leatherman carabiner or 
what do they call those? They have a specific name for their care bean or brew bean or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for your service. I've not carried a multi-tool. That's just something It just made me think about that. I've not carried a multi-tool as my EDC in a very long time. Like the free P4, when it came out, that was one that I carried for like a week. I've not carried one in my pocket for a long time. I'm, I'm interested to see if I could carry one again and what I would think. Maybe it's too big, too bulky. I, I don't know. All right, this one comes from Everyday Carry Buffalo. He has a Vice Anvil Tactical um, I, I don't remember the name of these, but it's a little pry tool with like the T-Rex shape. Really cool little tool. He has a mini bug out in white, which is cool. I've not seen too many of those submitted, but I haven't done this show in a long time. He also has a Raylight Land TI, which is a really, really cool flashlight because it takes either AA or 14500 cells. So you can get your rechargeables or you can put AA if they die in it. It's just a really nice light for the price. And then at the top of the photo, he has a tactile turn bolt action short i think that's not a mini that's definitely not a mini it could be a full size i think it's a bolt action short so that's really cool that one's in titanium as well. Ooh, here we go we got some micarta up in here this one comes from r martinez v and he has an ace of hanks handkerchief which is ace of hanks is actually someone from the discord in the discord there are people who make things and there's a maker channel and a maker tag so if you click on their name you'll see if they actually are a maker and you can purchase something from them um, there is a coin here. I think that is probably, that's not a giant mouse coin. I thought it was a shape, shark, shank, shank, shark, shark, <laughs> shank sharpeners union coin. Wow. <laughs> that's just a, some sort of copper coin. I think he has a Rovivon Aurora A2, as well as a Bellroy Slim wallet, a tactile turn bolt action mini in copper with a Timascus bolt. And the reason I clicked on this photo, the reason it jumped out is the Micarta Feist. That was an urban EDC supply exclusive. I almost bought one of those, almost, but I figured I'd probably never carry that over my Pena X series. So uh, front flipper trapper it is, but those are nice. Another reason I didn't buy it, I wish they'd gone with a reverse Tonto option with the Micarta scales. I would have bought it in a heartbeat if I had the reverse Tonto. This Warncliffe-esque blade, I'm just, something about it on the Feist I wasn't a huge fan of, but I love that reverse Tonto instead. And here's a nice one we have this from Axe Gecko. He has a Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21 in Singo blade, as well as a Seiko Save the Ocean Samurai with Crystal Times Sapphire. He has a Blue Shark NATO strap on that, as well as a Titanium Ridge Wallet, a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 2.5, and a Tactile Turn Bolt Action Short. It's a really nice little clean carry. Everything's kind of matching here. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Tactile Turn, Lynch Northwest, and Chris Reeve. So we've got really nice carry here. I've never, still never carried a Ridge Wallet. Blue is not my color though, but you've tied it all together because you've got blue in just about everything here, except for the bolt action. You need a Timascus bolt for that pin, man, if you want to complete the, the ensemble. Here we go. That's another good fixed blade for EDC. In this photo, we have a Lumentop Tool AAA in brass as well as a Machine Era Company field pin, a blue key bar, a Hitchin Timber sheath of some sort. I don't know what which one that is. An Ace of Hanks handkerchief, so another one from the server, which is really cool. Some AirPods, a Hitch and Timber wallet, um, some sort of card wallet. That's not a card caddy, so I'm not sure which one that is. And then he has a Bradford Guardian 3. Love the Bradford Guardian 3. Uh, just really, really good knives, M390. The same one I have, but I have brown micarta or natural micarta scales. But that one comes from Lump. Cool name, Lump. Here's one from Steven. Oh, Steven, he says this was 4-2, so seven days ago, one week ago, New Knife Day, TRM Atlas and Spyderco McB. I want you to see this. Take note of this in classifieds. If we go there and scroll up just a little bit, there it is. Price drops going on Reddit soon, Steven. Spyderco McB, he's got a hinderer for sale if anybody's in the market, and then that TRM Atlas. He's like clockwork. You can just know he's going to get a new knife, and then it's going up for sale pretty soon, so you just you know, watch what he buys and then, you know, wait. I lost my place by switching. Oh, we're way back. We are way back in March now. Cool, cool. Ooh, here's another one. This is Sir Mr. Penguin. He has a mail call and that is a, a Hinder XM18 Spearpoint Vintage. That looks like a 3.5, if I were to guess. That's definitely a 3.5. I just love that knife. Loco Matador 87, very, very regular in the server. He has a Okluma DC0, as well as an Ace of Hanks handkerchief, a Zach Wood pry tool. I'm not sure which model that looks like an APB1, but I, I don't know exactly. He has a screw pop utility knife and a Grimsmo Norseman. It's an expensive carry right there. The Norseman and the, the flashlight alone, that's, you know, $1,500. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, look at this one. Sir Knight. More gear will arrive soon. Seeking knife to replace Leatherman also for sale. 
and classifieds. Hold on. Notice that is a sheet foot bench made griptilian with an engraving on the blade. I'll show you right here. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. I couldn't help myself. I actually wanted to put this specific griptilian together myself for the longest time and I could never pull myself to buy the griptilian and the scales. So when this popped up in classifieds for a pretty good price, I had to grab it. Unpopular opinion, I'm not a huge office fan, so I'm probably gonna blast this blade and get the DLC coating off. But this right here is a really cool grip. Like this is just a really cool griptilian and uh, I'm happy with it. Wow, we're still only in on 4.2. We have a whole week of photos to go. I'm just gonna scroll real fast. Look at that. I haven't seen many of those yet. I actually have no idea what flashlight that is, but that is a Chris Reeves Sabenza 31 micarta inlay, as well as a tactile term bolt action short, I believe. And I have no idea what that slip joint is. Hmm, that's a pricey carry, that's nice. Oh, and he's got a Timascus clip on it because of course he does. Here's a nice collection of knives right here from uh, from RT or Mare 70. So the top we have a Chavez Ultramar Rendizion Tonto with solid titanium scales, a Pena X-Series Rhino, as well as a Berg Blades Slim and a Giant Mouse Ace Biblio in titanium. And then that bottom one, F3, is that a Curtis Customs F3? Yeah, Curtis Customs F3 Compact. Yeah, it's got some good taste in knives. I like those. I've owned several of those. Here we go, somebody actually using their stuff. We have the hashtag stay at home at your parents, which don't have sharp knives, carry. The feeling is real. I'm not staying at home with my parents, but the feeling is real for Mighty Yoshi, Joshi. Uh, he has a mini sheepdog which he used to dice which looks like bell peppers i'm guessing the funny thing about the sheepdog is it's a cleaver which typically you would think would be good for chopping but the sheepdog and they are coming out with a new one which fixes its problem and it has a spidey hole instead of a flipper tab the flipper tab completely ruins the point of the sheepdog that's why i stopped carrying one that's why i got rid of all mine is the the flipper tab keeps you from being able to lay it flat which is kind of the point of a cleaver you can chop and lay the blade flat you can't do that with the sheepdog so they're coming out with one with a spidey hole i think they've at least teased it it's a great knife but it has issues here's turkey foot leather works so the guy who made my wallet this is his carry he has a chris reeve um -nums on which is just a beautiful knife he has a citizen diver right here as well as an okluma dc1 one of his own wallets and a coin pouch i guess as well as a handkerchief not sure who makes a hank you guys have a lot of really nice stuff that makes me very jealous here are some of my photos of the dapper from blade hq and vox oh and here's skies at work carry all of his bougie crap right here because that's that's the sky we all know and love right Ooh, look at this sharpie picked up a BMKT EDC-1, really, really cool. So he got the drop point version, really nice fixed blade knives. I love them. And look at those scales on that PM2. Those are copper that have been force patina I believe. Force patina copper can be good or bad. I typically prefer a real, a natural patina, but you can't get certain looks with real patina. So forcing a patina can, can give you some really cool effects sometimes. So I don't hate it. I know a lot of people sometimes hate it, but sometimes I think it turns out really cool. That's an example of it turning out really good. Ooh, here's one from Saul Good. He has all custom stuff that I don't know what it is, except for the Mighty Hanks handkerchief and the uh, Coke Tools KTC2, which is the S35 and titanium version of that. It's a really cool, very unique knife. I have the D2 version. I did a video on it a long time ago, but they're just really, really cool knives. And it's got a pry tool and a bottle opener built into it. And here's one from Zach. This will be the last one. So this one is from Zach. He has a Giant Mouse Ace Biblio 2, which looks like the bronze version, I believe. He has one of those Timascus coins, just like Sky, as well as a bolt action, I guess the original, just the, the full size bolt action from Tactile Turn a Rexford Rutt V4 or V5, I don't know what version they're on now, but I know that's the most recent, a Mighty Hanks handkerchief and a Prometheus Beta QR V2 in copper. And I imagine just knowing him, it's probably an Apple watch with a magnetic leather strap. That's gonna do it for this video. This one was a little different than the typical. It's more a little more laid back, not planned, not structured and organized. I definitely wanna continue experimenting with this style, but I also wanna keep the old format in place as well, where I pick some and talk about stuff very specifically. I think the EDC weekly, well, God, it's gonna be so hard to call it the best MEDC, but I think the best MEDC moving forward uh, will will be a, a mixture of different styles of this community show where I talk about your carry. So it's not always gonna be the same thing. That's where I got a little tired of it being the exact same every single time. 
And I mean, I did in total over the course of like three or four years, I did like 80 or 90 episodes of it. So it got really old doing the exact same thing over and over. So I just got to mix it up, try new things, experiment with it, keep it fun for you guys. And one thing that I want to do in future episodes is incorporate an EDC meme section to the show where you guys just send me your memes, maybe through the discord. And I talk about those memes and, and just kind of have fun memeing a little bit with the community. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you wanna support what I'm doing here, there's gonna be stuff linked down below. A lot of the stuff that I talked about in this video, if you click to and purchase anything using those links, I do get a little bit of a kickback because it's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc or carry commission. That is my store. You can purchase gear and stuff directly from me. Um, I'm mostly out of everything, but you can buy merch right now. So carry commission or carry dot best, but you should also follow us on the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at Best MBTC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. And of course, be sure to join the Discord and the Facebook group so you can stay informed on stuff that's happening here with the channel and know stuff like me changing the name of the channel and making some changes to the channel itself before I announce it here on the channel. So be sure to follow and join those places. That's the Discord, Facebook group. It's all linked down below. But with that said, and until next time, carry on.